We are here at the airport and we're going to go on test drives on a soapy airport runway and do some evasive maneuvers to see some new safety technology. What do you think? Do you think I'm ready? You I think ready. I'm ready. We went to the Elkhart Airport with Lippert and they soaped up the runway and let us experience firsthand their new anti-like braking system for their fifth wheel trailers. Now, if you don't know, anti-lock braking is a technology that basically pulses the brakes so that the wheels on the vehicle keep rolling and it helps you maintain control. And anti-lock brakes is something that has been in all vehicles essentially since the 90s, but is just now finding its way into RVs. So to fully really simulate a slippery surface, Lippert put vinyl flooring down on the ground and then periodically sprayed some soapy water on it. So they have the most slippery road, uh, more <laughs> slippery than I think you'd really find because not that many roads are made of vinyl. Well, but I think the idea is to simulate <laughs> like ice or ice something or like that. Ice or super slippery road, right. Uh, and it was, it was eye-opening. So there were actually, we did three passes in these trucks. So we actually rode in the cab. There were one-ton dualies pulling really large fifth wheels. Mm -hmm. And the first pass, we got up to 45 miles an hour. We had a professional driver. Yes. And we went down the track and he just stood on the brakes. That's it. Uh, right and, on the regular part of the track. Yeah, right. Yeah. It wasn't soaped up. It was just the runway. So that you could feel what it feels like to brake under kind of normal 45 mile an hour conditions. Yeah. I mean, you think that, I think the trailer was forty uh, 12,000 pounds. And then what is it? You know, one ton dually weight, two and a half, three tons. So that, that's a lot of weight. What did you think when he stood. I, <laughs> I wasn't afraid of the braking. I was afraid, I guess, of the connection between the truck and trailer. And I was afraid the trailer was going to come loose and come right through the back window. It, it was <laughs> a lot of, yeah, it was a lot of, like, you hear banging and slamming. But essentially, the truck and trailer were kind of working together. But that's yeah. a lot of weight. And it was pretty eye-opening how quickly, from 45 miles an hour, he was able to bring that rig to a stop. Right. On a yeah. dry, clean Dry, clean, pavement. yeah. Now, I've never been in a vehicle that was towing a fifth wheel before, so I didn't know what it should or does or normally feels like. I wasn't, like I said, I wasn't concerned. It's just, you know, you always have that momentary, like, oh, no. Yeah. And then, like, nope, I survived. Yeah. All right, here we go. <laughs> Did you? Oh yeah, I, I guess we so. both did. What Fun about the brakes. I like to do this to give people a baseline to kind of understand this how powerful really these brakes actually are. Quite uh, eye-opening, as it were. And then, um, then we'll now let's hope that our slippers. camera so is still stuck to the side of the truck. Yeah, it's still there. So I'm going to stop okay. and add these right. two cones right here. We hit the brakes. They just. That yep. was entertaining. <laughs> so you can see we stopped at the obstacle. So the next time we're gonna go right to the end. I did. So that's the difference between the wet pavement and our soapy linoleum flooring. Did what do you know? So then he went around the track again, and the yeah. second time he went around, he also got to 45 miles an hour, but he took the route that took us on that vinyl flooring. Yeah, which is super slippery. And again. We, there are some cones where he starts, you know, where he basically steps on the brake pedal. There are some cones. We pass that. He slams on the brakes. And you can tell it was a much longer uh, stopping distance because we were sliding down that track. But I'm not sure we ever actually stopped. I think yeah, we I just think slowed we got, down some and then went around the corner for the next round. We got to the end of that track and remember he let off the brakes yeah because he said it would be like a big difference when all of a sudden you got traction oh, hit the hit the dry ground yeah uh, okay. but i think yeah. the the point of that was at no point did the trailer get squirrely behind the truck right so that was really good so it was a really well controlled braking situation and I think that was the point of this whole demo. 
and of the anti-lock brakes inside the trailer. Because sometimes under those circumstances, the trailer can really get out of control and could jackknife and end up in front of you backwards, yeah. right? Yeah, that's, and that's where we see all those YouTube videos where mm -hmm. bad things happen. And now this that is, especially yeah. was a concern, the third pass. Yes. Because that was the evasive maneuver. Now he did not do this He's on kicked. the slippery, <laughs> his soapy part. That was 45 part. miles an hour. He did. Oh, he did? Well, it was on the slippery. Oh, oh yeah. sorry. Oh, yeah, I thought yeah, it was yeah. a third the location. Oh, no. It was, what there were do you two think would have happened without of effectively vinyl? of vinyl uh, okay. and one of just dry My pavement? My mistake. No so worries. So that time he was on the vinyl and there were cones right in front of him. So he got up to where the cones were and he had to, like, you know, a cow was standing in the road and he had to, like, swerve to miss it. <laughs> Poor dog. Yeah, whatever. Well, whatever it was, he had to swerve to miss it. And again, then the truck, you know, you're swerving all over the road and the trailer just stayed right behind the truck where it should be. Yeah, it was, I mean, when you think he's at full braking and on a really slick surface, and then he had to move to avoid the cones or the baby in the stroller or Elvis singing <laughs> a whatever on the side of the road. Um, and it, no loss of control whatsoever, which was really impressive. Really and that's impressive. the point of this right. Lippert ABS system, anti-lock braking system, is it really helps you maintain control of the vehicle. And I did ask, so what happened if you were to shut off the system under that circumstance. And here's, here's what he said. So. He's cake. <laughs> so that was 45 miles an hour at the, that set of cones. The cones are still standing. Uh, the trailer just tracked right behind us. What so. do you think would have happened without the ABS? So without ABS, the trailer would have kept going straight and wiped out those cones. So if a wheel is locked, it's not and not right, rolling, it's, it's not, not it's not stable. Right. So it would just slide. It would want to keep going in the direction it was already going. So if it the, could the, have jackknifed the, the whole rig. Absolutely. So the, the truck would turn and the trailer trailer would want to keep going straight and wipe out the cones. And then if you're on the brakes with the truck, the trailer's gonna to want to go past your truck. Yeah. So oh, right, that, that's right, the jackknife right. that situation that you're talking okay. about. So with the ABS, it keeps it rolling behind the truck, following it on the slippery surface. And we've tested this on snow and oh, ice yeah. up north. We got there's tons of videos online, and um, you can see it's like just ice oh. sheet. And we're going. That's that was our experience, uh, you know, with this Lippert anti lock brake. Now this system, just so you know, it not only does anti-lock braking on the trailer but it also will track your mileage on the trailer and there is a bit of sway mitigation but just some it's still best to you know maximize your mechanical anti-sway but this does have some anti-sway properties um, it is right now only available to trailer manufacturers so Lippert makes it available to like we drove in a Coachman, we drove in a Rockwood, there was a Columbus, and they had, there were two days, the following day I think a Brinkley, a Grand Design, and another brand. So there are some brands that are now equipping the fifth wheels with this, and the promise is that it will also come to towables, travel trailers. Good. Um, but it's just, I mean, so what did you, what did you think of this experience? I think it was a great experience. I'm really grateful that Lippert and Elkhart Airport and, you know, everybody set this up to be able to do this in a really good controlled environment. It gives you really a good feeling to know that if you are towing a fifth wheel, that has anti-lock brake, <laughs> you got to put all the ifs on there, you have far less worry, right? It's always, it's always a little intimidating, especially if you're new to it, to tow anything. But especially if you have a great big fifth wheel, just knowing that you're not likely to jackknife your trailer just takes one of those things off the list of top of your mind concerns. Yeah, it's, I mean, in my opinion, 
Uh, I would say I would no longer buy a fifth wheel that did not have this system. Yeah, yeah. Um, and you can tell if you're at an RV dealership, the way you can, you can tell from across the lot, they paint the brake drums red right. on the fifth wheels that have this. Now, there is also a competing system from German company Bosch sold through Dexter Axel. So they have a system that does this too. I don't believe that they paint the brake drums any different color than black. So so it's it, there is possibility that you could get anti-lock brakes and they're not red. So that's Correct. not the only But if tell. you see the red brake drums, you know then it's you know. the Lippert ABS. And I, I wouldn't, yeah, I would no longer consider a fifth wheel without this system. It is that much of a safety advantage. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, that's our thoughts. Yeah. Um, as always, we have a full story about this uh, at our home on the web at stresslesscamping.com where you can get deals, discounts, all kinds of great insider information, how to shop for an RV, all of that at our home on the web. And you can find that at Stressless, Stressless Camping. Camping.